welcome to another episode of the Private Property Home Shopper Show. We are back in Johannesburg and it is absolutely freezing, so I hope all of you are keeping warm. But here we are within a stunning home, and as soon as I close this door, I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about it. So this home is 11 million rand, six bedrooms, six and a half bathrooms, and utterly stunning. So we're gonna show you this home, we're gonna take you around it, show you all of its fantastic features, and then one of you are hopefully gonna find yourself living in it. See you in a bit. Welcome back and what is a mansion without an entrance hall and what an entrance hall this is. Not only do you walk up to this home and pass beam lighting as well as a stunning water feature but you find yourself then in this beautifully wood clad entrance hall. Stunning chandeliers above me, floor to ceiling glass windows letting in so much light and reminding you that the home you're walking into is very, very special. But yeah, just off of the entrance hall, you find yourself in the living area. Down this flight of stairs is a cellar. You could use this for a wine cellar, which I'd highly recommend with the way the cellar looks. Incredibly spacious, so much space. In fact, you can sit a nice dining room table there and clad the walls with all the wine your heart desires. But let the imagination run wild and let's talk more about this shared living area. We've got this stunning feature Wall that also acts as a divider between your dining room area, your formal dining room area, and then your formal living room area. We've got a stunning shared gas fireplace, and then we've got these incredible lighting elements throughout the house. We've showed you what it looks like in the entrance hall, and this is what it looks like in this dining area. And another really cool touch throughout this home are these massively tall ceilings, almost triple volume in some places, double volume in all the others. And then in that ceiling, not only is there down lighting, but speakers. So you've got a central home entertainment system where you can play your music, entertain, and serenade your guests because a home like this is really an entertainer's dream. We've got a sliding door leading out onto the back end of the house and then over here we've got a completely remodeled brand spanking new kitchen that I'm going to show you right now. So follow me, let me show you what a chef in this home can expect. Right here we've got an AEG five burner gas stove and then we've got the oven placed right over there with a microwave above it. But let's take a look at some of the design elements. Stunning veined marble, obviously the beautiful lights all the way across this breakfast nook slash island area. Plenty of under counter storage, not only here, but also behind me, we've got our chef's sink and a pantry area. Then we've got two doors off to my left hand side. One houses your pantry, plenty of space, especially shelf space there for all of your dry goods. And then the second door leads off onto a hallway off to your four car garage, all enclosed and safe from the elements. We've got plenty of windows here, air conditioning within the kitchen. And then if you look to the ceilings, more of those speakers. So if you wanna enjoy music while you're cooking, this is the home for that. Then on my left hand side, we've got glass paneled display cabinets. If you'd like to display anything and right over here those cooking implements that I'd mentioned your AEG oven as well as microwave space here for a double volume fridge plenty of space in this kitchen really it is plenty of space in this whole home and over here is your scullery area double sink with 
your ribs rack in the center, under counter storage for all of your appliances, microwave, washing machine, tumble dryer, and then an exit door running around the back of the home. So we've showed you the stunning kitchen, we've showed you the incredible formal dining room area. Let's take a look at what the formal living area has to offer and really it's just stunning as the rest of this house is. Again, we've got this double volume ceilings bringing such a scale to this room. Love it, it makes you feel like you're living in a home that costs money and at this price, really, it is a steal. But behind me, we've got that feature wall with down lighting built into the wall, shared with the dining room area and then wrapping around, we come again to the staircase leading down into your wine area and here it is, one of my favorite features for all homes, a piano. I'm very tempted to try my hand at it again, I've been taking lessons, but then this leads outside. Before I go outside though, I'd like to bring your attention to these custom aluminum framed glass doors, floor to ceiling, double volume. Take a look at this. I mean, this really does bring, bring you a, a perception or, or example of the scale of this home. It is stunning. But now that we've put those doors back where they're supposed to be, let's take a look at the outside area and what it gets you. A 10-seater dining room table, space for this. Again, stunning lighting elements throughout, speakers built into the ceiling, your very own built-in bar on the left-hand side here with bar counter. You've got sliding stackable doors right in front of me leading out to the rest of the grounds. TV area with built-in plug socket. This room here is also air-conditioned as there are more double glass pane sliding stackable doors and then over here you've got your fireplace real charcoal fireplace if you're looking to have a bride even in the winter time you can close these doors up and use this fireplace and still have a comfortable time but let's talk summer it's not winter it's summer guys it's fantastically warm it's a beautiful day i'm lying but let's imagine room flow pool looking out onto your grounds stunning pool but then just to the left of the pool my right we've got a jacuzzi there. And if there's one thing I love, and a lot of you viewers will know that I love, it's a jacuzzi. I love me jacuzzi built in right here for you to enjoy. We've got openings at the top of the ceiling there, letting in a lot of light and some air. And then as I'm sure you've noticed, just out there on the ground, full-size tennis courts. So if you wanna work at being a Federer, at working on your backhand, on practicing your serve, this is the house for that. Guys, 11 million rent, this is a bargain in Bryanston, a stunning home, an architectural marvel. There's so often people can change the core, but you cannot change the bare bones of a house. And this house has got some really solid foundations. It's been designed so well. So don't let it slip through your fingers. But there is more, there is so much more. Let's take a look at what else is located downstairs. So you are gonna need to follow me and let's go take a trip down the hallway. Now coming down the hallway, we find ourselves at the end of it, in one of the bedrooms located downstairs, sliding door leading outside onto the grounds, air conditioning located in this bedroom as well, as well as north facing windows, plenty of space here for your bed, but you'll be wondering, where are the cupboards? And this, house, this, this room has got a secret. If we open up these cupboards here, it leads into a walk-in closet, plenty of cupboard space, all of those closets or cupboards should I say are hidden and then another set of doors leads you into your ensuite bathroom. Now this ensuite bathroom has a jacuzzi hot tub, a walk-in shower, double vanity which is a theme throughout this house, nearly every single bathroom has a double vanity and then plenty of under counter storage and again toilet located discreetly in the corner with a soft close lid. Coming out of your bedroom, on the left hand side, you'll find a room there that has almost been specifically designed as a home gym room. You've got frosted glass on the windows, giving you a bit of privacy. The other window that looks out onto the back of the garden isn't frosted, so you can get some light in through there. And in the ceiling, you'll find two speakers, again, built in, giving you all the motivation through your music to have the best workout possible. Now those speakers you won't find in any of the bedrooms. Obviously you might want peace and quiet in those bedrooms, nor will you find it in the studies. So I love that it's been included in this room. 
So now that we've spoken about the home gym, let's talk about the hallway. We have got a storage room just behind me there, or a linen closet, and right here we find ourselves in your home office. This is where you're gonna be signing all your deals. This is where you're gonna be making all your money. I love that it's been included again, north facing, so you know you're gonna be getting plenty of sun and light in here without it becoming hot or sweltering, down lighting throughout the room, and plenty of space for a desk just like this. Now, leaving your office space, you'll find your half bathroom located in this hallway, your guest bathroom. It's got a walk-in shower, a single vanity, as well as a toilet tucked away in the corner there, frosted glass windows, beautiful down lighting, really well equipped. Now, last but not least located downstairs is your informal lounge area, your informal sitting room. It shares beautiful gas fireplace like the other rooms in this home, which you'll see in a moment. But I love that there's a space here that's nice and cozy and just can be enjoyed with the whole family. Behind me, you'll see a TV there. And then you've got stackable glass doors that again lead out onto your stunning grounds. But that isn't all for this home. We've got that staircase, that beautiful, stunning staircase. Let's work our way back there and take a look at what upstairs has to offer. Now, walking back into the living areas, we find ourselves right here at the foot of this winding staircase. And this staircase behind me really does show the sense of scale and grandeur that this house has. Take a look at the windows at the foot of the staircase, looking out onto your garden, onto the tennis court, onto the beautiful grounds that Bryanson possesses. But let's take a walk up the staircase and let's take a look at what upstairs has to offer us. Coming up the staircase, when you find yourself on this middle floor landing, immediately what you notice is this beautiful glass wall, floor to ceiling on both sides, looking onto not only your balcony, but also these stunning grounds. And what I love about this is it almost feels like a sunroom. It brings such a sense of grandeur and scale, and really that is only half of it. If we carry on up, these stairs here, you'll find yourself coming to the landing where all of the bedrooms are located. The grandeur really can't be overstated. These aren't double volume ceilings, they are triple volume ceilings with another set of stairs over there going off to two of the other bedrooms, one of them being the master suite. This home's got so much to offer and you're really gonna enjoy this upstairs. So come on, run up the staircase, take a look at what it has to offer. Let's go down this hallway and let's take a look at the bedrooms. And here we are upstairs, exercise has been done for the day. We've showed you the bedrooms downstairs, six bedrooms, six and a half bathrooms within this home. Most of those bathrooms are en suite. Here is the first one located upstairs, let's take a look. And here we are within the first bedroom. We've swapped tiles for beautiful wood flooring. Now this bedroom has its own ensuite bathroom as I mentioned and no expense has been spared throughout. One, it has its very own balcony looking out onto the grounds, the tennis court, the beautiful room flow pool, plenty of cupboard space in here as well as space for a TV. And then let's take a look at that ensuite bathroom because really the quality continues from there. Now this ensuite bathroom has its own freestanding bathtub with freestanding faucets as well all of them chrome lined a double vanity beautiful marble countertop under counter storage frosted windows and a absolutely massive walk-in shower all glass lined and then of course beautiful soft closed toilet seats now we find ourselves back into this hallway and what I love about this home is all of the rooms are north facing but a hallway like this which can so easily become dark and dingy has also had a lot of thought put into its design with square windows running the length of it making sure it's still bright and still airy. Now we come to another room at the end of this hallway as well as a bathroom and bedroom that I've just passed on my left that we definitely won't forget to show you. So here we are within the room at the end of the hallway and I think a lot of you are wondering why did I pass two doors? Why didn't I go in there? And that's because this section is almost a self-contained apartment. Right now in a living area, it could be a study, could be an office, could really be whatever you want it to be. Air conditioning in here as well as cover space, windows behind me as well as in front of me. And just to my left, we'll have a bedroom and a separate door that leads into the bedroom, one of those doors that I passed. And then next to that, also attached, we've got a bathroom and another separate door that leads into that. So let's start with the bedroom and then we'll go to the bathroom and then we'll get out of here. 
And here we are within the bedroom. This is the door that leads out back onto that hallway. Plenty of space in this bedroom. Windows in front of me, aluminum frame looking out onto the beautiful grounds in Bryanston. There's not much to be said about this area except that it really does make a perfect place, the self-contained apartment area for any of those angsty teens that want their own space. They've got their own bathroom, own bedroom, and a little living area there slash study. It's so nicely done. So much thought has been put into this home. We've got drop-down lightings, plug sockets throughout the room, perfectly located for your TVs, for your entertainment areas. And here we are within the ensuite bathroom where again luxury touches are abound. We've got the double vanity with plenty of under counter storage. We've got the glass lined walk in shower. You've got your very own bathtub with a frosted window again looking onto the beautiful grounds. Really, I love the thought that's been put in this home and I love the grandeur throughout the whole home. But again, as I've mentioned, these three doors all lead out back onto the hallway and that's exactly where we're gonna be going. So, off to you my cameraman. But coming out of this hallway, that isn't everything when it comes to bedrooms and bathrooms that this home has to offer. Up the short flight of stairs, we find ourselves in another bathroom slash bedroom area. Now this makes a perfect guest room. We've got so many standout features. Obviously, plenty of space. Cupboards over there, cupboards over there, space for a TV, plug points exactly where they need to be, central air conditioning, ensuite bathroom, but then we've also got this, which is really cool. A sitting area. Windows around here. I mean, it's not a bad little reading area there for some guests, but right above me, for everybody who has seen those fancy Rolls Royce with the stars on the headliner, we've got that right here above me in the ceiling, some LED lighting. Looks like a starry night. It is so cool. But let's take a look at that bathroom and then it's off to one of the nicest. And I know I say this often, guys, but I keep getting beaten. It, my expectations keep getting surpassed when it comes to master suites. And this one really has so many features down and on point. But here we are within the ensuite bathroom. Let's take a look. So this ensuite bathroom is decked out in streaked Italian marble. We have got, again, your vanity with under counter storage, walk-in shower, your very own bathtub, and then obviously your soft clothes toilet. And here we are within the master suite and what a master suite this is with two doors that open on to the hallway of it. And that's what I love, that feeling of specialness, that feeling of grandeur. And let me just mention while I am here, you do have a linen cupboard. But moving along this hallway, air conditioning throughout, you find yourself within your first walk-in closet. And the reason I say first is there's obviously more than one. There are two, a his and a hers, which is fantastic for all of you that are out there looking to accumulate the best fashion. This home accommodates that. So this walk-in closet, plenty of space, both cupboards as well as shelving, as well as areas there for you to hang all your suits. And the exact same is replicated in the main section. And then on my left, through this little opening here, we have your ensuite master bathroom. Let's take a look. And here it is, ladies and gentlemen, how well done this has been. You've got a walk-in shower with not one, but two heads. You could say his and hers as well. Then you've got your his and hers vanities, obviously a double vanity, plenty of under-counter storage, lots of mirrors throughout this room. And then take a look at that jacuzzi bathtub off there in the corner with the feature wall, the rock feature wall. Really love the thought and the attention to detail that is throughout this house. I also love these cantilevered windows that open up and get you that nice fresh air within the bathroom. There's nothing better than a cold breeze and a hot, hot bath. And coming out of the bathroom, we carry on down this hallway and we find ourselves in a sitting room area with a stunning gas fireplace right there for you to warm up, chase away the winter chills, which I'm actually feeling right now. Should have brought a jacket. What is a master bedroom without not one sitting area, but two, this being more of a lounge area. You've got your TV right there, massive L-shaped couch, and then speakers built into the ceiling. You'll also see more vents for your aircon, and then this beautiful bulkhead ceiling just above the master bed. This is a stunning master bedroom, and it really does bring everything to the term when you say master suite, you expect something big, you expect something fantastic. And this room definitely has it. I love it. I love the way the lights run the whole room of this bulkhead. And I also like that outside, you've got your own ensuite balcony. Excuse the dogs barking outside. I think maybe they're jealous of this house. But take a look at this 360 degree views, north facing of your whole house. I love it. 
It's incredibly done. And it is also very cold outside, so we're gonna go right back in. What is a home in Bryanston? Or should I say in this case, a mansion in Bryanston with stunning grounds to surround it. And this home has it in droves. There are some other features I'd love to talk about. One, security. We've got electric fencing surrounding this home. We've also got a separate guardhouse as well as intercom systems, not only downstairs, but also in all of the major bedrooms for you to utilize as you see fit. But this is where I'm gonna be saying goodbye to you guys. I love you all. I can't wait to see you on another episode. So, if you like this home, if you wanna find yourself playing tennis court in the sun, swimming in that room flow pool, enjoying the jacuzzi, what I need you to do is contact Eric Pierce. His numbers are on screen right now from Eric Pierce Properties. Schedule a viewing because this is gonna be snatched up before you know it, 11 million rand, six bedrooms, six and a half bathrooms, a stunning and grand home with its very own full-size tennis court. So from myself, Chad Viveros, the team at Private Property, the team at the Home Shopper Show, we love you, we hope you've been enjoying the episodes, we hope you loved the Cape Town tour, and we're gonna see you again very soon. Mwah. Goodbye. Thank you.